Today I'm bringing Addie, Maya, and their buddies Karen and Ethan to Cheekwood Gardens, which is a garden estate place in Nashville, beautiful area, because they have a really cool exhibit um, called Storybook Houses, where they've taken five of like your favorite childhood classic stories and built these beautiful playhouses for kids to play in. It's only here for a couple more days, so we're going to come one more time and check them out before they disappear. Okay guys, so the first house we're visiting, this one is inspired by Dr. Seuss and it's called Oh the Places You'll Play, which is after the Oh the Places You'll Go book. How many of you guys have you guys read this book? Yes, I love it. I have. You guys read it too? Yeah, I have. I love it. I love it too. It's a good book and now we're going to go play on the play structure that was inspired by Dr. Seuss. Let's go! Yes. When I think of Dr. Seuss, I think whimsical, I think colorful, wild, playful, and just full of fun. And I think this storybook house does a great job of captivating all the elements that make Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss. Should I come up too? Yeah. I've never been up there. No, you gotta right. go up, you gotta I'm gonna do it too. Okay, I got up, but now I have this net that I have to get over. Can this hold me, you think, Maya? No, because it only has one layer of a net, so you either have to jump over it or walk across. Wait, close to it. If you fall, you can probably step the landing. Close <laughs> landing. Well, I think I'm gonna try walking over it because I don't know if I want to put my body weight on the net. Here I go. Woo, I made it. Yay! Yay. I've made it over. What else is over here, Maya? A bell. A bell. A rock climbing wall. If you actually like push off, then it will go super duper fast. But, oh, all right. I know how it's like the places you'll go because look at all the rainbow colors on it. <laughs> it is. There's all sorts of bright colors on it. Go. Woo! <laughs> that was that. That's neat. Little chime. Oh, the places you'll go in years and I busted it out again this morning before we came here just to remind myself of what the book was about and it's pretty crazy because having read it as a child it has completely different meaning than reading it as an adult and you can see so much deeper into I think what Dr. Seuss was trying to get across as to you know what life is like. We're going to the next one. You want to go to the next house? Yeah. yeah. So there are five houses we're going to head to the second one now and I think we're gonna go to the house that was inspired by Charlotte's Web. Hey, this house is inspired by Garth Williams, who is the illustrator for Charlotte's Web, who has, I know we've all seen the movie Charlotte's Web, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Ad, you're currently reading the book. What do you think of it so far? Good. You like it? What do you like best about it? Um, that Charlotte's tries to save Wilbur. It's one of my favorite books from childhood. Have you read it, Kira? Yes. So, so what did you think of it? Uh, it was good, but it was sad in the end. It is sad in the end, it's very true, but still a really good story. Yeah, it is. All right, should we go check out the playhouse yeah, now? Yeah. Read okay. it, guys, I suggest read you read it. It's it. a good, good book, one of my favorites. Do you remember, Kira, any of the words that Charlotte spelled in the web? Terrific. Terrific was one Fantastic. of them. Fantastic. It sounded like best pig or something. Outstanding, I think. I, I think it was like, you're some pig. You're some yeah, pig. Yeah, yeah, some pig. The one I think I remember was radiant. Wasn't that one of the words they yeah, spelled? Yeah, yeah. Radiant. Yes, it was. And Maya, do you remember who found a lot of the words that Charlotte spelled? The rat. Robert. Not, not the pig. The mm. rat. The rat. Oh. Remember Templeton? Yeah. He was a funny character. Here just quizzed me and asked what was the first word that Charlotte, the spider, ever said to Wilbur. I couldn't remember it, but what is it, Kira? Salutations. And what does salutations mean? Hello. Like, hello, greetings. Sup, peeps. <laughs> Charlotte had a very good vocabulary for a spider and for a human, probably. Show me around Zuckerman's barn, kiddos. What do we have here at the storybook house? Wilbur. Wilbur, our little piglet. <laughs> And then Wait, we come in here. Charlotte. Charlotte's in here? Yeah. In the barn? <gasps> Charlotte is up there. There's Tippleton the rat and all of his stash of stuff that he finds. This is where he gets the words off of 
random things. Barn. Go to the top of the bar. There's a slide. There's the slide, Maya. All right, girl. Woo. I don't know if you can see, but it says radiance on the web here. <laughs> Maya, we've got as a horse. Kira, your fern, the little girl who takes care of Wilbur. Ethan's farmer Zuckerman. And Addie, you're a cow. Moo. Moo. <laughs> oh, Ethan, here's where it says some pig in the web, just like you said. <laughs> We're at house number three, and this one is inspired by Maurice Sindex. Where the wild things are. Who's read this story? Me, me. Not me. Either. You haven't read it, Addy? No. Yeah, We're I gonna have. have to read it tonight then because it's a really yeah, fun funny. book. Definitely a classic. Yeah. Are you guys on top of the wild thing? Yes. I don't know if we're supposed to be on top of the wild thing. I think we're supposed to be inside the wild thing. Whoa! I'm a you guys be careful up there. We are the wild thing. I think I would agree with that. They said they are the wild things. I think you guys are 100% wild things right now. Well, Where the Wild Things Are is a story about a little boy named Max who, before bedtime, his mom said, you're being too wild, you are a wild thing. So she sent him to his room without supper. And then in his room, he turned into a forest and he went on this big adventure where he met all these real life wild things. But luckily, he made it back in time, safe to his bedroom, before his supper was cold. This is Max's boat, kiddos. This is what he sailed in. I'm the high queen Kira from Narnia. <laughs> Max sailed in this boat in the story to get to the land or the island where all the wild things live. He went through rough seas for months and a year, I think. Cool, I'd rather have a Narnia. <laughs> so, Kira, you'd like to see a Narnia storybook land? That's a good idea. What other stories Harry would you like to see? Here, Harry, Harry, Potter. Harry Potter, The Hobbit, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. Oh. I think a Winnie the Pooh one would be cute, or oh, Frog yeah. and Toad. I loved Frog and Toad when I was little. No. Well, while you guys are on top, I'm gonna check out what's inside. I don't think there's much inside, but I think there's I gotta check it out. Inside. Well, look at all this hair here, though. That's a lot of I hair. We grip on the hair to get up. I look. You grip onto the hair to get up there. Yeah. Ah, yeah. back here. It's like a little hut down here. There's its eyes and its teeth. Pretty cool. You know what else, kiddos, would be a really cool storybook land that's a classic? What? Do you remember Good Night Moon? Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? That'd be a good one. Don't you think, my? You love Good Night Moon. All right, guys. And I have another good story, but what? Good Night Goon. Good Night Goon. That's a good the one, too. The one with the G. We are at our fourth storybook house, and this one is called Hilltop Garden, and it's inspired by. Beatrix Potter. So you may know Peter Rabbit. Uh -huh. And there's also, Beatrix Potter has so many cute stories with all sorts of little animals. And they're all illustrated by her. And I think it's all adorable. I love the books, I love the yeah. stories. And the storybook house is just as cute. You guys wanna go play? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's check it out. Does the teeter-totter actually work, guys? What if I push down on it? Let's see. Woo, it does! <laughs> You just need a more weight, Kira. <laughs> this looks like the place where Peter Rabbit would run to hide when he got caught in, I think it was Mr. McGregor's garden, if I remember the name. Is that right, Mr. McGregor's garden? So you have to run away really quickly before he got in trouble. <laughs> there is actually a little house over here that we'll go check inside. Hey, Kira and uh, Mai, you want to show me around inside? Yeah. Rocking chair is over here. And it's a teeny tiny house. Hey, look, they have Peter Rabbit. Oh, how cool. They have the books over here. Mm -hmm. So this must be the stove. I think. What's over here? Oh, there's a vegetables that you can harvest. And there's a Area. Here's Peter Rabbit right here. See, he's sneaking into the garden where he shouldn't be. A place for letters. Oh, there's actual letters in there, it looks like. 
I wonder how you get them out. You don't. If you haven't read any of the Beatrix Potter books, I encourage you to. They are really cute and darling and just simple and beautiful stories. familiar with out of all these stories and he was an illustrator I think it's he maybe it's a she oh, um, the little engine that could and Lauren Long also has other stories about trains so this is a train themed storybook house you read this story do you remember this one yes I do you read it too I love Garrett. this one you remember Even, it I remember him reading <laughs> Here's the train, and then way down here is where the slide lets out. Oh my god, just see the sun! Our train is boarding! Addy, hurry up! We don't want to get... Come on, don't miss the train! The train is boarding, hurry! Oh, there's Maya! And Ethan! And Addy! And Kira! And on the other side of our storybook house over here, there's actually a whole train um, permanent feature that's always here. So we're gonna go take a quick look at this. Pretty cool. Where's the trains? Where are they? Where's the fairy right here? Where are the trains? Over there. Look. <laughs> There's Kira. Here's me. There's Maya. Choo choo. Choo choo. Choo choo. We've seen all five storybook houses now. Mm -hmm. Which one was everybody's favorite? The I know train what my one. Favorite was. Train one. You like the train the best, Kira? Yep. Mm. Let's see what Kira said. Train one. The train yeah. one too, Addy? I liked. Um, the little monster yeah, the, one. Yeah, the monster one was Where fun. the wild things are. And mine, what about you? Where the wild things are. Really? Mine was Charlotte's Web. That was my favorite. Yeah. I couldn't have made Charlotte's Web. Your yeah. interest surprised me. But this What's your favorite book out of all the books you've read? Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web. The train one. <laughs> um, the monster you, web. Where the wild things are. That's a good book. Well, we were getting ready to leave and have dinner somewhere, then we realized that they're bringing a whole bunch of food trucks out, so we're gonna stay here and have dinner. They have Nashville Hot Chicken at Hattie B's, a really famous place out here, which I'm excited for, and the kids are gonna scarf down some pizza. Well, this afternoon has been fun. We had a great time seeing the storybook houses one more time before they disappear forever. You guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. What do we tell everybody? What do we say? XOXO! XOXO! Make sure to subscribe. Make it, make it great. Tic Tac Toy! <laughs> and let's get a thousand billion trillion billion mu. Oh. What else, Kira? Read all the books. Read some books tonight, exactly.